right. Good morning, guys. Giving Alex a break, and I'm going to be handling this pretty crazy job. I broke down right on the Catella exit. Well, right by Disneyland, actually. Completely broke his uh, chassis. With the 20-foot container, probably every bit of 40,000 pounds. This doesn't happen on a on a light chassis. Oh wow, that's a good one. That thing is completely bent, man. Look at it sticking out right there. Let's go talk to the driver. Quick question, what happened to the spades on your landing gear? Uh, I, took, I took them out. You took them out? Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, they probably fell back there. I didn't see anything. No, I haven't. Okay. If you could move, it'd be a lot better for me. That way I don't have to block uh, the other lane, but that's fine, man. What I'm going to do is let me park on this side. Huh? I'll have the FSP truck see if he can help me out by blocking the lane behind me because these cars are they are flying off this off-ramp, bro. Yeah. They're trying to get to Disneyland. <laughs> and then... No, 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 no. You're going to scrape. Okay, yeah. And then, Just take know. off all the locks for me. All the locks, okay. Uh, the driver should be around the corner, maybe by the time you... By the time I'm done, he, hopefully he's here. here. Cool driver. I'm going to talk to the... These are called freeway service patrol. In California, they patrol the freeways from certain hours. And my uncle actually has quite a few of these contracts out in the Inland Empire. They do a lot of this stuff where they help stranded motorists off the freeway for free. See if homeboy's able to... Uh, block the lane for me and the cops showed up so they'll be providing that for me instead all right we went over the game plan the cop doesn't want me on this side there's plenty of room but because of sprinklers and whatnot they want me to do this so i already set up my cones and they'll also be offering their units as vehicle protection for blocking and all i gotta do do what I do best and work fast. You guys can kind of see how they, they come in at a curve. It's not a blind exit, but it is a kind of long exit. So these people will build up a lot of speed by the time they see the cones. California has the worst distracted drivers. I'm thankful for uh, the FSP and the cop right there. See what I mean about that curve? Hopefully these guys see the cones ahead of them and all the lights. Perfect. Just set down the outriggers and then I can start walking out the boom. Now of course I'm not sure this sign, so what I'll do is I'm gonna walk out my truck this way. By extending out, pull out the cables a good amount really all I need and then I can uh, rotate over uh, do I set up uh, behind us or in front of us yeah we're in no rush at all so just have them park right there Okay, yeah, for now, you said you could just uh, pull up like right Wait, now. where is he right now? He's, uh, you're about to land on the freeway? Is he, is he on Catella? Yeah, he's, he's there. He's about oh, to... in that case, park right here. That way, when he, when I'm ready, so, he can just back up. Do we follow right here? Okay, all right, so look, just uh, when you get here. Because I don't want the cops to yeah, get mad that we yeah, have more traffic yeah. back there. Okay, look, so... Uh, we... Cutting it, Josh. And then I'll get my rigging already at the top. Connected to my snatch blocks. And I'm going to Disney after this. Okay. I got two container slings down there. Oh, by the way, shameless plug, but how do you guys like the new shirt? 
my sister made these and they got a QR code on the back. So if you were to scan it with your camera, it takes you right to the YouTube channel. I recently started a, a new online shop where all my new designs I have. I've been planning to put out new merchandise for a long time and it's finally live. So check it out if you don't mind. Let me know what you guys think of the designs. So the rigging technique is easy. A container sling in each pocket. And then my eight foot grommet slings doubled up. Through all the shackles and everything up top so I only have to make one trip. One of four complete. You know, it doesn't look like it, but it's incredibly hot today. You know those days where it's like really hot, but it's overcast. Which means summer is coming. All right, two out of four complete. And then we just join these in the middle with my big boy shackle. Now it really is 50% complete. I just mimic the other side and we're airborne. And now that I'm connected on all four fronts, just gotta make sure my boom is perfectly centered because this is a lot of weight. Yeah, big flippers, the king, but Hulk ain't no punk. enough line all right now let's jump down all right Hulk as I say moment of truth right I'm gonna start by putting tension on each cable individually and if I center this just right and it'll come up What I want to do is come up with the front first because it's going down there. So if I bring up the front. There we go. Oh yeah. That's why we're not transporting the uh, the chassis. You see it? It's hard to tell from your from angle, but the front of the chassis is already coming off the ground.
Almost, Poppy. Nothing to do but just keep going in. Okay, is your truck on? Your truck's on? Yeah. I'll tell you when. Not yet. Let it stabilize. Hold on. Oh, I cannot wait for Hulk 2.0 with the dual H beam outriggers, man. On crazy heavy jobs like this, it'll make my, my stabilization a ton better. You're good to go. Now this looks crazy, but I say my first rodeo. Come on, baby. Oh, if this guy gets it right on the money. Beautiful, man. So what we'll do is we're gonna line up the front, I mean, the where I'm at the rear first. Good. Let me line up the front. that in? Oh, come on, man. Barely. Like one more inch. Booyah. Booyah. Yeah, go in and set your pins. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Go for it, man. I already set the payment. I don't know if you want to confirm. I'll call my base right now. Hey bro, this is way more than 30,000, man. I'll tell you that. Really? 100%. Okay. No one else would have attempted this. You saw how I was leaning my truck? Yeah. Hey man, I appreciate it. But I that, like man. that stuff, man. That's a big if I leave my truck, I ain't happy. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. No problem, man. Oh, nice shit right here, man. That's cool. The, thing the good thing is, we got a good up. reputation with all the cops, so once they see me on scene, they don't make a big deal, man. They'll know it'll get done. All right, there's no tension. Go in and set your locks, please. Once you do that, I'm gonna jump up top. All right. Good job, Hulk. 
Good job, Jeffrey. I'm gonna put the camera down so I can jump up top. Hey, Hulk, that was pretty heavy. Yeah, I know. Probably gonna get a lot of flack for that in the comments. All right, guys, I'm gonna just jump in really quick to demonstrate something and go over uh, this job and why I did what I did. First things first, I mentioned some things in this video, uh, tow truck jargon. I mentioned dual H-beam outrig. So Hulk has the front H-beam like that, right? And if you notice the back, I have an underlift which separates my outriggers. This is the, the Miller four stage. It extends out, as you can see, in stages like that. And it's not the same length as the front. As you'll see here, the front sticks out quite a bit more. So if you notice this crack right here, and then how much more the spade sticks out on the front, not only that, but the outrigger spade itself is pretty big compared to the little spade right here on this one. Now, Big Flipper is a true dual H-beam, so it has the same outrigger system in the front as it does in the back because it doesn't have an underlift. So this is one continuous piece. It's one massive piece. It does that cool five degree tilt thingy. This one is not. The rears are individual, the left and the right. So when lifting very heavy off the side like I just did, you're gonna feel it a lot more in a truck like mine. Um, and when I mentioned Hulk 2.0, we're getting a new rotator. It's gonna be just like Hulk a 50 ton, but um, a brand new one. There's a huge chassis shortage, so that's been pushed back indefinitely for some reason. Um, the whole industry's backed up, you know, it's not just us, but when Hulk 2.0 comes, I'm gonna get that dual H-beam outrigger system. So I'll have this outrigger setup on the new Hulk 50 ton rotator. And from people and Googling that have them and stuff, they say anywhere on the low, low, low end of 10% increase to the high end of 20 to 22% increase in lifting power off the side. That's just because you're much more stable. You're only as stable as your platform. And unlike a crane, you know, that'll have the crane platform and then the chassis frame separate, this is all together. So that's why Flipper on top of being a 75 ton is just able to handle ridiculous amounts of weight off the side. And another thing is I do so much testing, so much practicing. Um, I'll drop the link right here, but if you guys remember, I use this truck to lift this truck off the side over my outriggers. Now I had a lot of, um, it was leaning, but it did it. And I did that just cause I want to see how far I could push this truck. And this weighs 72, 73,000 pounds, depending on the rigging. So I knew Hulk could do that container. It just, it looks ugly. If the platform was more stable, you know, it wouldn't lean like that. And to the non-towers out there, or even towers, it looks crazy dangerous, right? Like, oh my God, his truck was gonna flip. It, it wasn't for a couple of reasons, like I mentioned. First of all, once I'm airborne with the container or that process of going airborne, that's when you have the most amount of force on your lines as it wants to equalize and come up. If it was gonna flip, it would have done it there. What happens is the lines keep going in without the container coming off and the truck keeps going over till the truck goes over. It wouldn't go airborne. The second time is once that initial pop of it coming off the locks comes up and you see the container kind of like kind of stabilizing, that's the second time it would have fallen. Hulk was fine, but you know, it was floating. And I can get away with stuff like that because A, you know, I'm part owner and it's my truck. Now, if this is an employee or something like that, or someone not experienced, of course, you don't you don't do stuff like that. You never go over your working low limits or, or you push the trucks, but I did it because I knew my truck could handle it. Uh, another reason is Catella, this was an hour away. This was by Disneyland and we're in LA. If you see just up ahead here, you can't see it, but that's the famous Sixth Street Bridge just past these apartment complexes. So we're deep in by downtown LA and Catella is the Disneyland exit. So it didn't make sense to stand by, kill that on-ramp for another hour or so until I can get another wrecker. Alex was uh, unavailable, he was on his own job. So I made the call to do it, it did it fine. You know, the rigging itself, I have 30 ton, 30,000 pound snatch blocks, they're rated at 15 tons each. The lines are about 17,000 each. So doubled up is 34. My shackles were 18 ton shackles. The straps were good because they were all doubled up. Everything was perfect on the rigging. The boom itself, it's not gonna, it's not gonna break by going 15 or so percent off the off the side working low limit charts. Just wish it didn't look so ugly, but that will be fixed when this new outrigger system is on this truck. Not this specific one, but the new Hulk 2.0 coming. 
And that's my quick interjection on the explanation of why I did this job. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I should have put my load cells on this in hindsight, but based on the weight and how I was leaning my truck, I want to say at least like 50,000 pounds because I've done 45 off the side with those cargo loaders and it didn't lean my truck that bad. Alex, you are spoiled with Big Flipper. That extra 25 tons of lifting power and massive dual H-beam outrigger system is next level. Yeah, I know. things man what is this always going to SOS mode of course cancel no emergency here I told the cop half an hour that it will be airborne and on the guy's tractor is good chassis. I beat that by a few minutes. Ah, down we go. you're good to go just make sure when you pull out just watch that bye bye all good it's just a matter of putting my rotator away and we're out of here, man. You guys enjoy this brutal heavy lift, man. I'm gonna follow him to make sure he doesn't flip it. Locks are still good. Oh yeah. Be safe, driver. Peace out, guys.